welcome back to our sixth of nine podcasts. I'm Ellie Clark, the CEO of HRO Today, our podcast series, HR as the White Swan, that hero that will deliver positive energy to combat the negative outcomes of the current black swan event that is COVID-19. The series is sponsored by Madison Performance Group, one of the leading providers of HR recognition systems, services, and software. Madison Performance has been one of our top-rated providers on the HRO Today Baker's Dozen, and we're joined by their senior vice president, Judd Weisgall, who has consulted to hundreds of companies on large recognition and incentive and rewards programs. Judd, we're going to talk about strengthening organizations today. That's the S. So we started on the word swan. Strengthening organizations despite upheaval, layoffs, illness, and financial strain. So people tend to think of moments like this as times when the organization is taking on great damage, and we're certainly seeing that. But how can recognition and rewards reinforce a positive culture and actually serve to strengthen an organization during this kind of, let's call it, moments of negative change? Talk about that. How do we strengthen organizations? Sure, sure. I had someone say to me just the other day, what can we do to help with the awful, terrible weight of all of this? And I thought that was the perfect way to put it. It's a heavy weight that we're all carrying around. And this incredibly heavy load that we're dragging of fear and uncertainty and loss, it's in many ways like an unending cycle of grieving. Many folks have seen colleagues fall ill, lose their jobs, suffer reduced pay or reduced hours. And then on top of all of this daily stress that they're carrying, they somehow push through work and get the job done more efficiently than ever before. So as I talk about strengthening the organization during this time, let me be blunt about one thing. Reward and recognition should never be a replacement for compensation. It can't be. But what it can be is amped up and invested properly in, especially in times like these, to support lessening the heavy burdens that folks are carrying day in and day out? Are you offering support via your program for those who are looking to do things like give to charity? Imagine the impact of giving an employee an e-card or a video message to let them know that you're thinking of them or their family during this time, or even giving them the ability to get some much needed items via their program or a gift to cheer themselves up or their loved ones up, and that will lift their spirits because they know you care. What about daily get-togethers by way of video and chat? We talked about this previously, but inspire your people to have video lunch, virtual coffee breaks together, stay connected and grounded, share ideas, vent their challenges, the things they normally do, perhaps even a training session so that your employees aren't seeing skill degradation during this time and they're motivated to learn and grow. This can be a huge factor in keeping things together as we are all separated. Bringing the team together with social technologies, social recognition, tying their work to things like contests and goals during these times, that sends a message that they're still here, they're here for a reason, they have an important role, and they're appreciated for it. We have to have a strong company to go back to when the pandemic ends. We have to emerge stronger than when we entered into this, and we have to let those who are with us know that we are with them. And we're invested in them and their emotional and physical well-being and their professional well-being. And we can do this by keeping goals, keeping objectives, keeping learning all front and center. And your recognition system is just one tool to help you do that. You know, one of the things that you mentioned about, like giving an e-card or giving to charity, and a lot of company foundations are being pretty active in that vein, but many companies cannot afford in the current economic circumstances to do that. So from that perspective, and I know I'm catching you off guard here as we have these conversations online, but the power of social recognition, which is free. You know, what does the research or recommendations that you provide to your clients say about the impact of that versus the financial rewards? You know, at a time like this, are people really focused more on the financial issues or does the social recognition still have the kind of major impact that we read about? It's a great question. It's a fair question. And I think during times like this, it's the same answer, believe it or not, than any other time, which is it's a combination of both. There aren't always activities, actions, behaviors, performance metrics that are going to warrant a cash or cash equivalent award. And there aren't any items that should pass by where you don't at least send an e-card and say, hey, thank you, or socialize it with a video or a message. So I think it's about weighing, especially now, what's quote unquote worth it to the organization to invest in financially and what's worth 
pushing out as a message to make sure that if it's a no-cost solution like an e-card or low-cost solution like a video, that you're giving folks one way or the other the ability to say, I see you, I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you, I'm grateful for the work you're doing. And I think that most organizations have that built into their programs. But right now, if it can be afforded, I would personally say a few extra dollars goes a long way to so many, many people. And if that's just not possible for your organization, Never underestimate the power of saying, thank you. I saw that. Great job. All great points. I want to thank Judd Weisskopf, Senior Vice President of Madison Performance Group. This is our sixth of a nine-part podcast series, HR as the White Swan, the hero that will, or heroine as the case may be, that will provide positive energy to combat the negative energy of the current black swan event. So thank you to Madison Performance Group for uh, sponsoring this series. And we'll look forward to podcast number seven, which is another W, Why Employee Virtual Meetings. So we'll talk about that and how you can use your recognition and incentive programs in your virtual meetings. So stay tuned for podcast number seven, and thank you for your attention.